another episode of my blog series season three. I'm Jairo Harak and I'm so excited to be doing this amazingly fun video, my part two of Happy Days slash Joni Loves Chachi blog series. I did my previous video celebrating um, the anniversary of Joni Loves Chachi on March 23rd of 2016. So I'm so excited to be doing the second video. Make sure to check out my previous video on my channel and we're gonna get started with this video. 
On February 25th of 1972, the show Love American Style aired an episode with a segment titled Love and the Television Set, a story about Richie Cunningham, his family and friends, which later served as the pilot for the popular series Happy Days. The segment was retitled Love and the Happy Days, and Happy Days was also going to be called Cool. Happy Days was first released in 1974, but what I didn't mention in my previous video, which I just recently found out this information, is that when Happy Days first premiered, it wasn't picked up for the full season. They had another daughter playing Joni, Susan Nair, and another father playing Howard. But in 1975, they reshot the pilot with Aaron Moran playing Joni and Tom Bosley or Bosley playing Howard, which he was originally offered the role, but turned it down, but then reread the script and accepted the role. Like I said before, Joni and Richie had an older brother, but after the second season was eliminated from the series and they had two different actors playing the character. Fonzie was originally meant to be like a dumb hunk friend, but when Henry Winkler took the role to the next level by making him cool, they decided to make Fonzie a cool character. Tough, ladies man, but protective and loving. Originally, the network said Fonzie couldn't use a leather jacket unless he was on the motorcycle, so Gary Marshall told the writers to have him in a motorcycle scene always. But then the leather jacket was permitted at all times on the show. Speaking about Joni and Chachi, Aaron Moran and Scott Bayo or Bayo, uh, were an adorable it couple, and so was Richie and Lori Beth. Lori Beth and Richie get married on the series, and so do Joni and Chachi in the season 11 series finale. It was beautiful. Joni and Chachi, as I mentioned in my previous video, which you guys should definitely watch, Joni and Chachi get their own spin-off show, Joni Loves Chachi because everyone wanted more of this one-of-a-kind couple. Chachi was first introduced in season 5 of Happy Days, and as you can see, Joni at first rejected him. I love when he calls her blue eyes, and one of Chachi's catchphrases is wah wah wah, which is short for what what what? Now you all know my cousin Chachi. There's your little boyfriend. Hold your breath. <laughs> How you doing, Blue Eyes? What are you selling today, shrimp? Oh no, I sold all the shrimp to Alfred. But for you, I got no smear lipstick. We can test it out later. Wah wah wah. Hiya, Blue Eyes. Wah wah wah. Oh, and if he starts with that, I want time and a half. No, no, a deal's a deal. Come on, Howard, let's leave them alone to study. I am not going to leave Wah 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 and Blue Eyes alone. But at least Chachi left me a card. Mon cherie, ooh la la, you and me, Wah Wah Wah. <laughs> Fonzie also calls Joni Shortcake, and you can tell that later on through the season, Joni started coming around. She started having feelings for Chachi. In season 7, the episode Hot Stuff, Joni tells Chachi maybe for the first time instead of saying no. And in Fools Rush In, in season 7 episode, they have their first date, their first kiss, and they're adorable. Chachi was part of the cast from day one on the show. He got into the theme song or opening credits pretty soon, but became more of a main character in season 8 and 7. When Ron Howard left the show, obviously, you missed the character of Richie, which we will explain why in a few minutes, but you got to see more of Joni growing up, her relationship with Chachi, and other new adventures. You know what I mean? I mean, like I said, uh, Chachi became more of a main character in season 7 and 8, when Ron Howard departed from the show. Um, Richie was mentioned during the series um, in certain episodes and everything like that in certain episodes. Um, but like I said, it, it just gave that opportunity to see Joni growing up, her relationship with Chachi, and other new adventures, other new plots, including new characters such as Roger, Jenny Piccolo, Casey, Flip, and etc. Plus, their show lasted two amazing seasons. Like I mentioned before, I love that Chachi loves chocolate milk. I gotta get some chocolate milk. Says his expression, that's cute. 
How come? How come? I'll tell you how come. Because I wasn't wearing that outfit. That's how come. You want to wear it next time? Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> and that he's Italian. And I love when Joni puts her finger in his ear. I don't really like to dwell on the actors' personal lives because I believe their life is their life, but I was very happy to hear that Aaron and Scott did date off screen and are still friends. Scott, after Happy Days, had a great career as well. Happy Days was definitely a highlight to his career. He went on to doing lots of projects, including a five season show called Charles in Charge. It was broadcast by CBS and was canceled after the first season, but got revamped for four more seasons. It ended in 1990, and it was about a college student who works as a babysitter, you know, with kids, in return of a house, food, shelter, and etc. There were Happy Days jokes on the show, including Donnie Most, guest starring. Donnie Most plays Ralph Mouth on Happy Days. Ellen Travolta, who plays his mom, Louisa, in Happy Days, and Joni Loves Chachi, who ends up marrying Al Del Vecchio, ends up also becoming Scott's TV mom on Charles in Charge called Lillian. It's funny how Chachi's full name is Charles Arcola, and then Scott gets a show called Charles in Charge. Scott was on Love Boat, The Nanny, Full House, he had his own reality show, and so many other shows and etc. Aaron was also on other great shows after Happy Days, and Ron Howard, who played Richie, and we're going to explain now why he um, decided to depart for the show. Uh, Ron Howard, who plays Richie on Happy Days, left in season 8 to pursue filmmaking, while Richie, the character, leaves Milwaukee to become a screenwriter. Lori Beth and Richie have two kids, and Joni and Chachi talked about having future kids on their show. Well, we're going to be totally different without a little girl. You think we'll have a little girl? Oh, definitely. Yeah, and I want to have these dimples. In this mouth. Can she have your hair? No, no way. <laughs> She's got to look just like you. <laughs> but we won't hover over her like my parents mm, did. No way. We're going to teach her right from the beginning to be independent. Yeah. And one day, a boy with dark eyes and dark hair and a great body like yours will want to take her to the movies. <laughs> and we won't stand in her way. Uh, no way. We'll go with him. <laughs> I guess it's not so easy being a parent after all. Listen, huh? after about our fourth or fifth kid, we'll have it all down pat, and there'll be no more mistakes. <laughs> How many children were you planning on having? I don't know, about eight or ten. I'll see ya. <laughs> wait a minute. All right, wait, what about six? Five. Four is a low. We'll adopt one. And I adore you, Joni. You know, I, I hope all our children look just like you. Even the boys. <laughs> you know, they say a child is born every 30 seconds. In school, they told me it took nine months. I don't know who to believe. Joni and Chachi got married at age 20. Joni was a teacher. Chachi was going on tour. Like I said before, they broke up like four to five times, but every couple has their ups and downs. And they dated for four to five years. I loved how Chachi proposed to her and how their dream came true of being married. I think it was the, the best decision. Many of the cast members, such as Ron Howard, Donnie Most, Ansa Williams, who plays Warren Weber, aka Potsy, on Happy Days, and Henry Winkler ended up becoming directors, producers, you name it, after the show. I, I also love how Happy Days, there are certain catchphrases, like,
I thrill. <laughs> On Blueberry Hill. I found my thrill. Sit on it. Sit on it. Try that. Sit on it, Potsy. Sit on it, Howard. Sit on it, Fonzie. Hey! Oh, Howard, what am I going to do with this? Knit on it, Marion. Gary got the idea that Park we could have other catchphrases. What a well, hump! Well, some buckles! Bucko! Uh, yeah. Hump <laughs> I still got it. I was the first one to say nerd on TV. Gee, Potsy, uh, you should act as nice all the time. Then people wouldn't think you're such a nerd. You call me a nerd. I have known you all these years, Fonz. You have never, ever called me that. But, Joni, he's a nerd. I'll take credit. I, the one thing I did come up with was Mr. and Mrs. C. Hi, Mr. C. Mr. C, this is the best dinner I've ever had. Goodbye, Mr. C, Mr. C. Hey, Mr. C. Hey, Mr. C. We used to think this is getting a little ridiculous. Now they're just reaching for, you know, anything they can find and just trying to force it into becoming a catchphrase. Yowza, yowza, yowza. He's such a hunk. Cheerleaders. Wah, wah, wah. It came from <laughs> what, what, what. And I would go, wah, wah, wah. That's where it came from. Me and Blue Eyes. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. I just wah, wah, wah. After a while, where we put a bandana around Scott Bayo's leg so everybody would copy that. Well, my leg, because you put that in the show. Much more. There are lots more. I love how Chachi wears a bandana around his leg for luck. They try to make it into a trend. It didn't really go that way, but teens did wear it. And I love the bloopers. Same thing oh, 20 years ago tonight. Did you sneeze then? No, but no. <laughs> Aren't you worried about the Malachi Brechers? Brecher, oh, how would they could play at the annual Leopard Lodge Poopa Duda? He tried to send Elaine home. That's no, I did it again. <laughs> it's Eileen. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. I get so confused with so many. You remember the girl with the motorcycle, all dressed in pink? Pinky put, pinky puts. <laughs> he tried to send Elaine home. That's I not did. I wanted to watch the fight, but I don't know my next line. We'll be eating it at at at. Uh, <laughs> we'll be eating it. Uh, I haven't got the slightest idea. <laughs> to see us make mistakes. Sometimes our bloopers were funnier than the actual scene. Can we do that again? <laughs> wait, wait till Ronnie gets all the way in. I hope you folks don't have any plans until later this evening. Fonz, what happened to your leather jacket? Stolen. By the thief. <laughs> Where's your leather jacket, Fonz? <laughs> Where's your leather jacket? Stolen. Stolen. Did you ask him again? Where's your leather jacket? Stolen. <laughs> Where's your jacket? Stolen. Leather thief. Leather jacket. You should say leather. No. 
thing. No. Wait a minute, I kind of write this. Okay, you ready? Action. Okay. Which fine should not play The fun did not play guessing games while chewing. <laughs> Richie, Richie would be right if he knew what the hell fun. Besides Joni Loves Chachi, Happy Days had other spin offs, such as The Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. It was an animated series, it only lasted one season. Mork and Mindy, that lasted four seasons, and Laverne and Shirley, which lasted seven seasons. I want to give thanks to the cast and the crew of Happy Days, Joni Loves Chachi for making these amazing shows. And I want to give thank thanks to you guys for watching and watching another episode of my vlog series, sharing this experience with me, bringing the past to the present, remembering these amazing shows, coming in touch with these characters. And I know I've been making superhero videos, uh, and I haven't finished with those. Believe me, I have many projects for the superhero videos, but I just wanted to take a moment and just appreciate this cast, this crew, these shows, and I just want to give you guys thanks for watching and make sure to check out my previous video and make sure to not go away because there are clips to come. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. My gray sky, hello blue. There's nothing can hold me when I hold you. You feel so right, you can't be wrong. Rocking and rolling all day long. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. Saturday, what a day. Moving all week with you. These days are on. Share them with me. These days are on.
story of happy days in 30 seconds. This dad becomes this dad, and this jacket becomes this jacket. Here's Chuck. Is that you, Chuck? Now, where's Chuck? These two look familiar. Here's Fonzie's cousin, Chachi. Chachi loves Joni. Ritzy loves Lori Beth. Look out, the shark. Look out, more cousins. Fonzie gets a kid. Ritzy gets a mustache. Finally, Joni loves Chachi. Watch this and everything in between on Happy Days. Weeknights at 9, 8 central on ETV. We were all brought together here for one single purpose, to do this show. Now, come on, everybody. Squeeze close together. Ouch! Well, not that close. Hey, come on, Al. Smile. I am. <laughs> We're all set. Here goes the timer. Hurry up, Dad. Hurry. 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 I'll just go as fast my teeth are drying. <laughs> Here it goes! I remember uh, uh, when we went back to Milwaukee, as a celebration for happy days. We had a parade there. They underestimated how many people would show up. It was just unbelievable, the response we got. And it was wonderful. In the industry, they used to consider us like a bubblegum show. But I think they've overlooked one thing. To the public in America, happy days was, was an important show. And I think it was, and I think it still is. I say we're going to make a team, and we made the Happy Days softball team. And that team toured all over the world, all over the United States. We played in most of the major league parks before the big games. The softball part of our, our life on Happy Days has really kept everybody in balance and was a great bonding thing. Henry came up to me and said, uh, I'd like to play. And I said, great. And uh, he said, I don't know how to play. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I've, never, I've never really played ball. Uh, I can look good. <laughs> right. I can spit. Yeah, right. You know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can scratch. <laughs> I, can, I can pat someone on the back, you know. He became like the premier pitcher in the league on precision. All based on, on precision and, and that drive. Was it. it was the one move. That was right. it. <laughs> but he nailed it. I never was able to catch the ball very well. And if the guy hit it to me, I would stop it with some part of my body. Somehow, I never got my glove up. I was always looking to see if it got over the plate. I never quite got the glove up, but I did stop it with my ribs, my arm, my thigh, my something. I was black and blue for 11 years. All right. Germany road trip ball game, 1982. This is one of my most important treasured possessions. You know, I never got anything for sports before in my life. Well, you deserved it. You were a, a great softball pitcher. Yeah, well, I would never would have played without you. You know, you gave me my first mitt. You were my coach, you were my mentor, you were always there, you were always supportive, yelling from the, from the outfield, you can do it, Henry. <laughs> you are my best friend, even as we sit here today. Well, you know, I, I thought, Harry I thought it was really important that the family that works together should play together. Let's talk baseball. So he started the softball team. Television and showbiz has a lot of stress. So you got to get distractions, and softball was a great distraction. We had some great athletes on our softball team. Except Henry. Henry never played softball. Howard bought me a mitt. Anson bought me a bat. And they taught me to pitch on the soundstage 19 on Paramount Lot. And I became the pitcher for the Happy Days ball team. And now here's our pitcher, Henry Wakeler, the fun. We would go to two or three major league parks a year. And we had these road trips. And they were just thrilling. And I get emotional thinking about it. It was just one of the great experiences of my life, these road trips we'd go on. Okay, we're going to go to the hotel now. We'll have time to change into our uniforms. And at 4.45, the bus will pick us up at the hotel. We have a new member of the cast that joined us for the first time in a little baseball gig. Kathy Silver, ladies and gentlemen. Those games were fantastic. I mean, we played in front of 40,000 people at Shea Stadium. And that's, you know, to play softball, to play baseball without a backstop behind you, it's cool stuff. Good afternoon. When we were in Okinawa, we beat the Marines, we beat the Navy, we beat the Army, beat the Air Force, and the Marines were so upset, they wanted another game, and they flew in ringers from Tokyo, and we beat them worse. Nine to three, Henry Winkler pitched like a banshee. It was very serious, and it was about winning, just like the real teams. And if Aaron didn't catch that fight, get her out of here, get her out of it. <laughs> and that happened. It became a real 
bonding. I remember we played in this league, a show league, where you'd have double headers, you know, every Sunday. And God, I just so look forward to that. I miss it to this day as I'm talking about it. I wrote this to you this morning because I knew that when we were face to face like this, that uh, well, I might not be able to to find the words. How do you thank somebody who's been everything to you? Your brother? Your protector? You delivered my own child. I, I just don't know how I could ever say that. I think you just did. Could it help if I said I wouldn't look at any other girls? Yes. Fine, then I won't look at any other girls. You're lying. Yes. I am. It'd be crazy to say that. Everybody looks at a pretty girl, Joni. Yeah. Just tell me what I have to do to get us back together again. I don't really think there was a downside. The problem always yeah, was that these young ladies liked me for me, or they liked... I didn't liked... care. You didn't care what they liked you. <laughs> How old were you when you came to the show? I think I was, uh, 15. The thing is that Ron decided to go on to be a director, and then Scott had to step up and kind of fill the position, and he hit a home run every time. My cousin don't cheat! I don't need your stinking job. I've been doing all right without it. Without you, without school, without anybody. Hey, I'll tell you something else, Fonzarelli. I don't need your stupid cat. Stupid cat? <laughs> stupid cat? It's a very good thing that I don't got a bad temper. We have, have finally done question. something that we've wanted to do for a long time, and I hope you approve. <laughs> I saw this movie, Bugsy Malone, and I said, I like that little one. He was like 10. I said, he's going to be a sexy kid, that one. Gary said, do you want to be on Happy Days? I think it was the biggest show on television at the time. I didn't even know what the heck they wanted me on the show for. And I, you know, what do you, no. <laughs> Scott Baio was amazing because he came on and became this incredible psychic. I want you to have this. Here he was the same age. Um, I had someone that I could relate to. Oh, we have a nice little souvenir for you. Joni. Oh, Joni, just what I always wanted. That me for this. He became the younger version of Richie, and Fonzie could give him advice and then give Richie advice. But school's a drag. Hey, let me tell you something. You trust me. School is cool. You say so. I say so. Scott became a huge heartthrob for teenage girls and sort of a younger version of Fonzie. It was like, you know, the second coming. <laughs> two girls? Yeah, two to one. I love the odds. <laughs> Somebody said, let's do a show with these two kids singing. And again, I said, I don't sing. <laughs> don't do that to me. That's what I did. Scott started off as Fonzie's cousin and built into the new teen sensation of the show. Took over the spot. Boy, did he take over the spot. He's getting bigger than life, and the girls are going nuts. I mean, it was very Beatlesque in my mind, which is a really cool thing. So my experience was, was great. I mean, it was, uh, it couldn't have been better. The week. Now, you all know my cousin Chachi. During the fifth season, we were lucky enough to have Scott Baio join our Happy Days family. How you doing, Blue Eyes? What do you saw on the today, stage, Shrimp? Henry walked over to me and like this and just hugged me. And I thought, well, you know, this will be okay, I think. Hey, your funds are really blood funny made it up to your brain, huh? Oh, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You know, I always wonder what happened to this. Can I have it? Absolutely. Thanks, Henry. It's a pleasure. Uh, you know, I just, I just wish I had something to give to you. I really do. Scott. You gave me a lot. Yeah. I had the opportunity to watch this incredibly young, talented, 10-year-old squirt come on, <laughs> work with you all these, and then watch you grow up to be this incredibly older, 
talented squirt. squirt. Oh, by the way, do you know that I'm an executive now? And do you know what that means? It means I don't have any more time for small talk. So this is your last chance. You're going to go out with me? Maybe. I'm going to tell you something. One day you're going to turn me down one time too many. Maybe? <laughs> you didn't say no. I said maybe. Well, guess what? I got a maybe. <laughs> what a welcome. <laughs> I think I'm going to come in again. Aaron and I had a good relationship. She and I were, were very good friends. We dated on and off and during the show. So that, that helped us also uh, during, the, during the shows, but also made it very awkward at times. Do you remember last summer at the lake when you said that because I've been chasing you since I was a little kid that I may have missed out on dating a lot of other girls? Uh-huh. And I said that I didn't care about that? Yeah. Well, I was wrong. What? Well, it's no big thing. I figure I'm going to try and date other girls, and of course, you'd be free to date other guys. This way, we'd be really sure about each other. We'd be more confident, stronger, closer, happy. What do you think? You upset? Upset? <laughs> Are you kidding? I was going to cry to Mark, I think. <laughs> well, you're really taking this well. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought there'd be a lot of crying and carrying on. No. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> See you around. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. Joni and I have to get married. to marry Joni. I want to marry Joni. I love her. Oh, yes. Oh, Jesse. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, the, a wedding. Oh, that is such good news. Oh, Joni must be so happy. Well, she doesn't exactly know yet. Uh, Joni, I know in my heart that this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. And I love you very much. Will you marry me? Oh, George. Oh, George, watch. Oh, George, yes. Really? Yay! Yeah. Oh, sweetheart, I have never seen you look more beautiful. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Touch them and they burst apart with sweet melody. 